Hi everyone. When a line y equals 2x plus 2 intersects a hyperbola x squared divided by n minus y squared divided by 8 equals 1 at one point and it's not crossing, we're going to find the distance between the two foci of the hyperbola. So basically we have to find the foci first and then we just find the distance. So let's look at this equation. Um, basically, um, we're going to have the slope. Uh, we have this line y equals 2x plus 2. So the equation of a, a tangent line with a slope of 2 to this is going to be given by this formula here. So let's look at our what we have. Our m is 2. Our a squared is going to equal n and our b squared equals 8. So that's going to give me uh, y equals, using my formula, 2x plus or minus square root of a squared. So a squared is n times 2 squared minus b squared, so minus 8. Now this is going to simplify to equal 2x plus or minus square root of 4n minus 8. Now we know that y equals 2x plus 2. So we call that equation 1. And this is also y. So we're going to set this to equal uh, 2x plus or minus uh, square root of 4n minus 8. And if I just look at that, so basically I'm just setting y equals y and solve um, for um, this, we're going to have the two x's cancel. And therefore we're going to have 2 equals plus or minus square root of 4n minus 8. Now squaring both sides, we're going to get, so I'm going to just square both sides here. We're going to get 4 equals uh, 4n minus 8. So when you um, add 8 to both sides, you're going to get 12 equals 4n. Therefore, n equals 3. So if I, for the hyperbola, and we already have this uh, written out, my um, a is going to equal square root of n, and my b is going to equal square root of 8. And what we're going to do is use this formula as c squared equals a squared plus b squared. All right, so doing that, we're going to get c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So that means we're going to have um, a squared is n, b squared is 8, but we also know that n equals 3. So basically my c squared is going to equal 3 plus 8, which equals 11. Therefore my foci, if you take the square root of both of these sides, you get plus or minus 11. So the foci, I'll just give uh, foci 1 is square root of 11, comma 0. And the other foci, I'll call it f prime, is negative square root of 11, comma 0. So when you do the distance from these two, you do square root of 11 minus negative square root of 11. And that gives you 2 square root of 11. And that's the distance between the two foci. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.